Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and now we're going to be playing some more of our rotation proof decks. Uh, so these are decks that will survive the upcoming rotation. Um, so if you're not aware, every year there's a couple of uh, sets that rotate at a standard as new sets come in. Uh, these sets will include Dominaria, M19, and both Ixalan blocks. So what we're doing is building decks that contain only cards from uh, the Ravnica sets, M20, and War of the Spark as we wait for the new set to come out in the fall. So you don't have to worry about spending wild cards on these decks if you enjoy this type of archetype, as all these cards will be good for at least another year. Um, so what we have here is a blue-white Azorius Skies deck, or Flyers Matter deck. Um, so... What we're doing is we're playing around a bunch of creatures with flying and evasion and then uh, cards that kind of benefit from this and then just some good uh, blue white uh, cards as well so in the one drop slot we have three different um, creatures we have healer hawk which is a one mana one one flying lifelink pteramander which is an early drop that can get better over time uh, we can adapt it with we have more mana in conjunction with our instants and sorceries and then spectral sailor can draw us cards late game as well and lets us hold up our mana and flash it in at end step our two drop slot is tomic uh distinguished advocates um basically lands can't lands uh on the battlefield and land cards in your graveyards can't be the target of spells or abilities so this should shut off escape shift as well as Nisa and your opponent can't play lands from the graveyard, not as relevant in this format. Um, and it's also a 2-3 flyer for two. Uh, we have Winged Words, sorry, Rally of the Wings, which is basically an anthem effect that we can untap our creatures with. Uh, Veto in place of Spell Pierce because it's rotating, uh, kind of protect us against board wipes main board. Uh, three drop, we have Hanged Executioner. So it does its best Lingering Souls impression, comes in and creates two 1-1 one, one Flying Spirits uh, for uh, three mana, but it also has built-in removal uh, for four mana. We can exile it and another target creature. So if there's, say, like a Rekindling Phoenix, we can exile it. Uh, Imperium Eagle is an Anthem effect, so it makes all our other Flyers get plus 1-1, one, one. Uh, and this can stack. Winged Words is card draw, so it's basically two mana, draw two in our deck just based on the number of flyers. I'm trying out Dovin here. Um, can create flyers, but can also get a bunch of loyalty and draw us a bunch of cards. Uh, Teferi uh, is very, very good. Um, so in this deck, it's tempo play, which we have early threats, so it can screw up their kind of attackers. We can bounce like uh, Wilderness Reclamation, if they have any sort of exile enchantments. It also makes the flash deck a lot worse when they have to play on their turn. And then we have Safara Sky's Blade. So we can tap four creatures with flying and pay one mana to cast it instead of paying seven mana. And then it's a flying lifelink and makes all other creatures with flying indestructible. Um, one thing with this mana base, uh, we're just opting to play the Hallow Fountains and then just basics. We'll see if we want to put any of the tap lands. Uh, without the check land, all we have is guild gates right now. There's no temples. Um, and like the main card we're losing out with rotation in this archetype is Favorable Winds. So this was kind of the stacked anthem that was also featured. And then one card that people might ask why I'm not including in the main board is Fairy Miscreant. I found this card really bad when I played it the last time. It's very unlikely you have multiple fairies uh, at the same time. And cards like Pteramander get bigger in the late game, Spectral Sailor draws us cards, and Healer Hawk, at least at the beginning of the game, can gain us a couple extra points of life. So if we are racing, it can kind of help that math. Sideboard, we have Cerulean Drake versus the red-based matchups, or Gruel, Dovin's Veto versus Control, Prison Realm if we need to get rid of creatures, or Planeswalkers, Formation against board wipe decks, Deputy of Detention uh, can be brought in a couple matchups. My main intentions versus Scapeshift, which I've been playing a lot of, uh, just to exile all the zombies. You can also get rid of like Wilderness Reclamation or other troublesome permanents. And then God Eternal Kefnet is for either decks with a lot of removal, so something like a Grixis or stuff like that. We can keep bringing it back, but also if we're playing like Rekindling Phoenix, this can attack through there. So we'll run it through a couple matches, see how it goes. We are playing traditional ranked at Platinum level. 
So the ones I've already done so far are Black White, uh, Life Gain, uh, Green Black Graveyard, and Gruel Midrange. So we'll continue this series. So if there is any that you're interested in seeing, do let me know in the comments. So play it up. So as we wait for our opponent, um, if you are considering buying cards on TCG Player, I do have an affiliate link in the video description down below. If you can purchase your cards through that link, it's the same TCG site. Uh, it just helps support the channel for something you're already doing. And if you can, if you could hit that subscribe button, it's a free and easy way again to support the channel and to continue just helping build out the stuff here. All right, let's play first. I don't like this hand because we have no one drops and now we have no one drops. All right, well, let's get rid of Vito. I'm probably gonna get rid of Tomic here. So the mana base has already kind of hurt us. So we might put in a couple like tap lines. So really want to draw land here. Bouncing this is a good way to reset it. Okay, so we have to f ferry here. Um, I think I'm going to wait a turn here and just play out the Hanged Executioner this turn. So here they'll deal, so let's just attack in. So this is the Aristocrats build. So we're gonna block here so it doesn't get any bigger. So they're looking to sacrifice their creatures for value. So we can Teferi the Butcher, we can probably wait another turn. Um, they do have the option to pump the knight here. So I'm not going to block with this yet, so I'm cool to attack in. Okay, so we'll see if they attack. Okay, they don't attack in with Judith. Um, here I want them to spend their mana, because the thing is they're going to shoot it down anyways. Actually, let's force them to shoot it down. We'll gain that two life back. Okay, so they spent the turn doing that anyways. Uh, and they have another knight. Um, so here we can block and then exile. Which might be the right play. Yeah, let's do that. Block one, exile the other one. That way they don't gain any life. So we block here. Sacrifice and exile this one. They have the Midnight Reaper as well, so that'll draw them some cards. Uh, so here, let's play out to Fairy. I'm gonna reset that since it can get the biggest. So we'll see if they attack both into to Fairy. I'll let it go because we're close to adapting Pateramander. 
They might just choose to come after us, which they do. At this point, we're just trying to stay alive. Yeah. Rick's Mahdi lets them refill their hand, so we're pretty much dead here. And they took out Teferi. Yeah. So it's a tough matchup. Um, so Cerulean Drake is great. Deputy is good. And some Kefnets. Uh, prison Realms as well. Um, so, Tomic probably is not as good here. Far is okay. I don't know if we're going to win, like, all out. Okay. Uh, hmm. Let's get rid of the Hanged Executioners. They're pretty weak in terms of blocking. I'd rather have the early stuff. Shed in a Farah. Uh, this gains us life. Probably just go down a couple Spectral Sailors. This at least gains us life, and this at least can get bigger late game. Play first. Yeah, we'll keep. We can sailor on one, winged words on two. We have a bit of a clutter at the three drop slot, so if they shock our sailor, we're in a little bit of trouble. Opponent did mulligan. Let's see what they go with. Just pass the turn. All right, so I'm just gonna do this now in case they have a spell. So here we can Teferi bounce if they play a creature or just play the eagle out and continue attacking in. I like the Teferi bounce since it tries to grab us some cards. But that does help them filter their mana. Actually. Well, now that we drew that, let's us double spell. This can block the Rixmati and they start gaining us life when we play out the Eagle. And we've almost met the condition of playing uh, Safara for one mana. Okay, so they're the war boss. I'm gonna take the two here just to get this off the board. Um, and here, just gonna deputy this. And attack in. War boss could run away at the game, so rather get it out of the way. They shock our birdie. They 
Hmm. Couple options here. Eagle lets us go the most offensive. Just play Kefnet. Just try to close this game out faster. Let's us block well. Alright. Knight of Even. Surprised they didn't try to attack in first. Uh, so we'll decline the reveal. So here we can do the Judith. Bounce that or just bounce the Knight of Even. Because I can't really attack it. Like, Knight of Even could attack in and pump. Rally the wings. And a turn or two can start being pretty good. I was hoping to draw a line there. Because that's five. It would be nine, so it's not enough to kill him just outright yet. So we're just going to block like this. So we'll decline that. Let's try this. We'll play out our eagle. Hit him for five for the next turn. This doesn't give life link, just gains death touch. Uh, so it's two, they can pump there. So the most they can pump is there, so it's five, seven, nine. Still out of good enough life total. They ping. They ping Tef. And they're dead. So it seems solid there. I think we run it back. Seemed like a good amount of interaction there. This deck gets like wrecked by Chain Whirler. But we'll see. So I'm going to do part one of the write-up for Aether Hub with the four deck looks that I've done. And uh, then I'll probably start the next one with some sort of Demir control deck. Or Demir mid-range. I just want to do um, Kefned into Drawn for Dreams. For like two mana, copy it. Um... Don't have any interaction this hand, and it's likely that they can probably deal with Afara, but I think we got a mulligan. Okay, we'll keep this. At least this is pro red, so it can do something. I'm drawing another land doesn't help. Dreadhorde Butcher.
What you got, opponent? That's interesting. So it could be a removal spell. Let's play out the Drake. Is this it? Ah, not even a lightning strike. Okay, so they have Judith. Really love to stop drawing lines here. One nice thing is Sailor can at least we can pump mana into it starting next turn. Phoenix is troublesome. Oof, we're one off so far. So we'll just pass the turn. Make it seem like we might have a counter or something. Just block as such. The good thing is we can soak up this 5 damage every turn. And this doesn't look like the Mayhem Devil build, which I think is better than the Judith build right now, which if they started sacking stuff, could wreck our board state. Oh. Perfect. So, now we should be in a good spot. 7-7 seven, seven flyer for one mana. Uh, my neighbor just decided to start cutting his lawn, so give me a sec. Alrighty. So we can turn the corner pretty quick with Safara now. We're also just close with the amount of lands we've drawn. Um, cool just doing this. It's indestructible, read the card. Okay, so they had the fry. They got us. Ah, that does turn off our card draw, unfortunately. So, probably got a little greedy there, didn't have to. Block. We hadn't seen Fry, but it was probably a logical assumption. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have drawn way too many lines this game. I will say, so has our opponent. Uh, da, 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 da. This is tricky. I think we just have to block like this. Because the problem is we trade and then it kills our Pateramander and we don't get a chance to adapt it. They do get to refill their hand here. And a second butcher. 
to get Cerulean Drake. Um. Just attack in like that. Those blocks. We can hard cast Safari now, so it doesn't really matter. Ooh, deputy's nice. So, how many lines do I have? Three, six, nine. Can adapt to you. Block like a butcher. And then just deputy next turn. <laughs> so opponents at six, eight, ten, we're at seven, nine. They did draw three off Rixmati, we drew one extra. Interesting. So we're gonna deputy anyways, so we're soaking up as much damage as we can. Here, like the best value is Dreadhorde, but if we get rid of Phoenix, we could hit him for seven and we just try to race them. I think that might be right. Or hit him for five, hit him for five. Because we'll just block the, block the two Dreadhordes, block the Knight here. So they need like fry. Or can Elaine Phoenix does it? That was a good draw by the opponent. So we can block one of these, they shoot down something, so we can attack in, they ha they're forced to block the Pateramander, they take three. How many pumps do they have here? So three mana, so they have six, so they have two, so it can go to seven, they hit us for seven. Yeah, I think we gotta go like that. Okay. Win. They block the six. We hit him for six. All right, so their good top deck got outclassed by our better top deck. That felt good. So let's just make a minor tweak to the deck. Uh, is there a gain life one? There is not. Okay, so just. I really don't want tap lines that often, but some number might not be bad. We'll try it out again. 
That was a good win for us. Opponent does go first. The one thing with this deck too is with the M20 color hate cards, you get hit by both Fry and Noxious. Uh, whatever the Noxious, the two mana black one that kill a white or green planeswalker creature gain a life. Noxious Grasp, I think it's called. Ooh, this sounds terrible. We've got some very. I think we've mulligan like every game. Okay, we'll keep. Uh, yeah, I think we got to get rid of her for now. Actually, you know what? Let's keep her. Get rid of Spectral Sailor. Because we have Tomic into Hang Executioner, then we're just one away from being able to cast it for one. Uh, control. Oh, we really need a land. Sir, I would like to play Scape Shift, sir. I swear, before this video, all I was playing against was Scape Shift. Nah, Teferi. Hi, hi, hi. This is a blue white control deck, likely winning through Teferi Ultimate. Ah, oh, no. Teferi shuts this off too, can't even do that. Trust me, I have a plan. Teferi can also bounce next turn. Alright, so... Punished. You gonna counter this? Trickster. Yeah, we're too far behind this game. Alright, against the flash deck. Kefnet's deputies. Probably want the vetoes. I'm gonna go down the Safara, it doesn't seem that good. Tomek. Rally. This keeps creating creatures. Healer Hawk's probably the cut. Cause this like this just gets bounced for no value. At least the opponents bring in a unique take. We're both playing Azorius decks that are a little off the beating course. We'll keep this. Pateramander into Pateramander. Let's us deal with um, a Teferi if they bounce one of them. If they play a creature out, we have Teferi. If not, we have the Angel or the Eagle. Stack them up.
So we need to be mindful, they probably have Settle. So I'm, I want them to force to sack their sailor if they want to keep Teferi alive. We will meet again. Sailor gives him value long term. Teferi's got a turn where it's not doing much. Force their hand. I I'm not going to attack with the Eagle, I'm just going to attack with the Pateramanders. See if they block. So take the block here. Next turn I'm going to drop to Fairy, which should turn off Settle. Ooh, to Fairy bounce it, smash in. And we're one short, which is unfortunate. They need like time wipe. Ah. I'm good at guessing what the opponent has. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. All right. Well, we're gonna wait on Spectral Sailor. They'll play the Vanguard, gain three life. We play. Prison Realm, exile it, veto for protection. Dream Eater. What do you return? I think they're dead regardless. We can prison realm it and have the sailor out at the end step. Just so we can see they have essence capture. Don't want the land, yeah. Okay. So it's like a tempo, probably like blue-white mid-range deck, more than anything. Uh, so there's a time wipe we need to be mindful of. Maybe cut down two executioners, bring in the formations. At the very worst, it just is an anthem for the team. We'll also protect, like, our deputy of detentions. Glad we haven't run into Nexus. That will be the deck I'm most happy about rotating. Uh, yeah. Keep. Just gonna lead off on Pateramander because I'd like to do Sailor at a later point of the game when I can flash it in and draw a card. Cash that in in case they have a removal spell like a sealed away or even uh, a summary judgment. 
Okay. Because mm. they might have a veto here. Okay, well, that was good for us. Next turn, we can Eagle and play out Spectral Sailor. We bounce whatever creature they play. Okay. So let's exile their Teferi. I'll keep the deputy. Just let me know if you're up for round two. Don't worry, I got this. Mm. Pass turn. In case they have another Teferi. Keffers. Oh, that's a Teferi bounce target. Vito's also nice here. That way, if they have time wipe, we can counter it. If they don't, we spectral sailor. No, I am not making this up as I go. So let's just exile Kefnet, buys us a couple more turns. Terramander with Dovin's Veto up. Really like our position here. Ooh. Yeah, got him. Get him, got him good, dead. So 2-0 oh with the deck. Felt pretty good. With some minor tweaks. Obviously the mana base would be better with a temple or like a glacial fortress. But overall, pretty pleased. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great one.